Hi there, I'm Victoria Nino, and I'm here today to talk to you about my experience with a donor egg pregnancy. Um, I'm actually pregnant today, as I um, filmed this video, I'm only six weeks, very early, but it is my second pregnancy via donor eggs. Um, had a very long journey to my first daughter, um, who's now four years old. Um, I've had many, many years of treatment, trying to get my own eggs to work. Um, lots of failure um, and then ultimately choosing an egg donor and um, you know going through the grief of losing my genetics I've talked about this on here before um, but in a, I'm in a very good place now and I will say that it took a lot of time um, a lot of patience a lot of grieving a lot of really sad dark and down times to get to this place um, but I'm here now and I'm really happy and I'm really grateful. And so I, I, it's really important to me to speak about these things. So people always ask me, you know, what is it like to be pregnant with a donor egg? <laughs> and to be honest, I always am a little taken aback by that question because pregnant is pregnant, you know? Um, I think, sure, I'm pregnant with someone else's egg, but this is my baby, this is my pregnancy. I'm feeling all of the symptoms, I'm feeling all of the, the kicks and the nurturing and you know um the morning sickness and i remember gosh the swollen ankles like so many <laughs> of those blissful moments of pregnancy um but i think what is different is the emotional aspect of it and i think that's the part that may take people by surprise um you know i think when you first get pregnant with donor egg for many of us it's our first pregnancy ever it was for me um I'd been trying for almost eight years to get pregnant um, and finally saw those two pink lines and I still remember that moment so vividly and I, I remember my knees actually gave out and I fell to the floor because um, I was in shock. And then I, th I think I went from, from excitement and shock to this like on top of the world, wow, everything's okay now. I finally got pregnant. And then it hit me. I could lose this baby. I've had so many failures. I've had everything go wrong, why would this go right, you know? And I felt just this feeling of like an identity shift and where do I go from here? You know, I went from being this infertile woman for so long and that was my identity to a pregnant woman um, with someone else's eggs. Like, where do I fit in? I remember thinking I wanted to wear like a shirt that like told everyone when they commented on my belly, like, no, 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 no. like I fought hard for this. Like. You don't understand like you're you're not like me you know i felt like i was not a normal pregnant woman um but to be honest like that was actually looking back pretty amazing um science got us to a place that we never would have been able to you know 40 years ago and now i get to experience pregnancy because i wouldn't otherwise um and i think no i'm not a normal pregnant woman i'm an extraordinary pregnant woman very unique and very special um, but I think, you know, one of my biggest fears, cause I had so many <laughs> before pregnancy, during pregnancy, when the baby was born, there were so many fears about bonding, about attaching, about just, you know, will my daughter love me? How will this all like be when she's finally here? And the one thing I, I can confidently say is that all mothers bond with their babies. They just sometimes bond at different times and in different ways, right? Many women for many years who've shared genetics with their children have had trouble bonding, right? So if that does happen to you, just know that it's not the genetics. It's just a thing. It's just a thing that, that, that mothers go through. For me, personally, I was bonded the moment that embryo was placed inside of me. The moment they gave me that picture of her, a little tiny embryo, I, I, I had tears. I thought, gosh, this is my baby. This is her. This is it. And I've never wavered on that ever since. Um, I, I wanted to do everything I could to protect her while I was pregnant, and I still do today. Um, I still sleep in bed with her <laughs> almost every night. She's four years old. We have a very strong bond. Um, and that started in the womb. And I, and I always talk about how grateful I am that I got to carry her because it's such a unique experience and it's such a privilege, honestly. And being able to know her energy, for her to know my inner energy for nine months, for her to hear my voice, my laugh, my sneeze, my burps, <laughs> like
Like she, the moment she came out, she knew exactly who I was, my mama. Um, and we had this very intense soul connection, like just like we've known each other a thousand years, or many, many lives. Um, and I think that is a testament to my mindset. Um, Cause I think with the owner egg, you know, journeys, process, the, the pregnancies, I think it's really, really important that you have a certain mindset because I think it's really easy to focus on what we're losing, right? Um, Cause there are things, <laughs> plenty of things that we're losing in this process, but there's so much more that you're gaining, so much more. And once I was able to make that shift, and again, it did not happen overnight. It did not happen easily. It did not happen without kicking and screaming and crying and being angry and depression and all of it. Um, you can watch some of my other videos about that because I was definitely there. But I think once you go through that really hard stuff and truly it, it could break you, it definitely broke me. Um, but it put me back together in this most amazing, like beautiful version of myself. And I get emotional thinking about that because like I wouldn't have her hadn't I gone through this and she's truly my like everything. She is my soul child. She's my best friend. She's my joy. She's my sunshine on a rainy day. I mean, she's literally my everything. Um, and people will ask like, well, how, how do you know that you will love this child like you would if had they had your genetics? And you know what? I don't know that because I didn't have a child with my genetics. But I do know that the bond that we have is something totally miraculous, something totally out of this world. Nothing I've ever experienced with anyone. Not my husband, not my best friend. Um, she's truly the child that was meant for me. And I had to go through that really hard stuff to become the best version of me that I can be for her. Um, but back to the mindset, I think some of the things that helped me were learning about epigenetics, um, which I've talked about before. Um, it's the idea that your environment affects or influences genes. So, you know, no, she does not have my genes. <clears throat> she does not have my DNA, but my environment, which started in the womb, um, help shape who she would become. And we continue to do that every day. Every day we live together, we sleep together, we are, are together. Um, that is her environment and that's the nurture that comes into play and such a beautiful, positive thing um, that without her having my DNA, I still see so many parts of myself in her, which is so amazing. Um, there's also a thing called fetal microchimerism which is the idea that the baby cells live with you, um, even babies that you've miscarried for decades um, and, and vice versa. She has some of my cells too. So um, it, some research has shown that those cells have been known to help heal the mother. And I truly believe that. I mean, she's healed me in so many ways um, just by having her inside my body and now in, uh, just in my life. Um, the spiritual connection for me has been something that has really become a big part of my life in the last few years. Um, but, you know, finding a way to connect to these, these soul babies, these spirit babies, I think is really important because there's a book actually, it's called Spirit Babies and I'll link it in the blog, but that's truly changed my life. It totally changed my outlook on why and how babies choose their mothers. And I think, once you can understand that, um, you'll know that DNA is truly not um, the end all be all. And that is not why babies choose their parents. Um, but I think in the end, like I'm truly just so grateful for being able to expand my knowledge and my heart um, to all these other ways to connect with my child. I think maybe I'd take some of those things for granted had it been my own genetics. You know, I think knowing that I can have this spiritual connection. I can have this, you know, biological connection outside of DNA. I can have this like truly magnificent soul, like just strong bond 
that maybe I would have just thought, oh, well, you belong to me, I belong to you because we have DNA. I don't, that, I don't get that. Um, <laughs> and here she is. Um, but I, I just want to reassure you that, you know, if, if you're like on the fence or you're like halfway in or you're like, maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, just get halfway. Like, that's my best advice. Just get halfway there because the baby will take you the rest. I promise you that.